Hello dear students, welcome to Devi Cost Commerce and Management Academy. And today we will see in higher purchase method, how do we calculate the interest when interest rate is not given. Interest rate 5% something they used to give, that is not given. How do we calculate? Very easy, a simple technique I will tell you. So related to this, uh, related to this uh, issue we are going to work out one problem. The problem is given on the desktop. The problem is related to the calculation of interest when interest rate is not given. What are they saying? On 1st January 2018, XYZ company purchased a machine from ABC company on higher purchase system. 1500 paid on delivery. 1500 paid on delivery means this is down payment, initial payment. And the balance in 5 installments of 3000 each. Okay, the cash price of the machine is 15,000 cash price. Calculate the amount of interest each year. How many years? 5 years. Because installment is 5 years. 5 installments, 3,000 each. Means 5 years you have to calculate the interest. For that, for that first we will calculate the total interest. Then after that each year we can calculate. Okay, so first solution, calculation of interest. I have taken another marker, one minute. Calculation of in total interest. For this, how much you have paid? Total payment. Now how much you are going to pay total payment one is initial amount isn't it higher 1500 paid on delivery of the balance uh, balance in five instalment 1500 paid on delivery means this is initial amount or down payment and balance in five installments or you can write uh, total payment means uh, you can write first uh, initial amount initial payment is 1500 and 5 installments 5 installments each installment is how much 3000 5 into 3000 that is 15000 total how much you are paying 16500 Cost of the machine is 15,000. Cost is 15,000, but we are paying here 16,500. Cost 15,000, we are making payment of 16,500. Difference is interest now. That is what we are going to write now. Minus cost of the machine. Cost of the machine is 15,000. 1500 is the total interest total interest but we want to know each year how much is the interest for that uh, just see five installments each installment is 3000 now we are going to calculate calculation of interest for each year each year this is that was total interest now interest for each year for this calculation you have to go for outstanding interest at the beginning outstanding not interest sorry outstanding installment at the beginning of the year or first year take like this outstanding installment installments at the first year first year total how much they have to pay all together all together it comes to 15,000 not only first year first year at this period they have to pay total 15,000 that is outstanding it is 15,000 five installments now 
five installments when it comes to outstanding installments at the second year second year what happens first installment is over now second year how many installments are there only four installments four installments into 3000 comes to 12000 so this is 12000 means we have four installments in the same way third year outstanding installments at the third year 3000 minus from the 12000 9000 or you can calculate two installments already over now left over is three installments three installments into 3000 9000 this is three installments third installment and in the same way at the outstanding installments at fourth year it is how much 6000 correct 6000 two more installment this is second installment now outstanding installment fifth year 6000 minus 3000 only one installment is there so that installment amount is 3000 first installment only one installment is here so like this each year installment first year we have total outstanding of installment total amount is 15000 second year 12000 third year 9000 fourth year 6000 and fifth year 3000 we can take out the ratio of this if you take out the ratio see how will be the ratio 15000 and 12000 9000 6000 and 3000 we take out the ratio Three table is possible, na? Three one the three, three two the six, three three the nine, three four the twelve, three five the fifteen. So the ratio is five is to four is to three is to two is to one. So this is the ratio. This ratio, total interest we can calculate. Okay, for the first year, first year install uh, interest. Total interest is fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred into first year ratio is five. This one, okay? Five divided by how much it is? Fifteen. This total is fifteen, no? So fifteen hundred into five divided by fifteen. Like this, you get the first year interest. In the same way, second year, second year interest. Fifteen hundred into four by fifteen, and third year. Fifteen hundred into this one three by fifteen and fourth year fifteen hundred into sorry fifteen thousand or fifteen hundred no so why did why did I write fifteen thousand yeah now two by fifteen last year fifteen hundred into one by fifteen now calculate and see. Um, This is five hundred. This is four hundred. Simple fifteen one the fifteen hundred into four 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 hundred. Here also hundred into three three hundred. This is hundred into two two hundred. This is hundred. Total up, you'll get fifteen hundred only. It means first what we have done. we have calculated the total interest so total interest we got it this much how do you got uh, total payment how much you have done initial payment of 1500 and installments of each installment 3000 each 3000 into 5 comes to 15000 total your payment is 16500 whereas the cost of the machine is 15000 only the difference is the total interest you got once if you get the total interest you have to first calculate the outstanding installment at first year first year total is outstanding total means that is 15000 is outstanding second year every year one one installment amount is decreasing 
second year 3000 decreased third year 3 more thousand decreased 3 more thousand like this outstanding installments are this much you got it means 15000 12000 9000 6000 and 3000 so this you have taken the ratio ratio if you take you are getting 5 is to 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 so this total is 15 for the first installment it is 15 15 uh, 1500 is the total interest inter total interest so total interest 1500 into 5 by 15 because this ratio is 5 5 by 15 comes to 500 second installment once again the same amount total interest into ratio is how much 4 by 15 third year 3 by 15 fourth year 2 by 15 1 by 15 like this you got the interest so very clear interest amount though it is not given we have calculated first year interest will be 500 second year 400 third year if you want you can write separately uh, conclusion also okay hence you can write here hence interest interest for the first year it is 500 interest for the second year 400 interest for the third year 300 interest for the fourth year 200 for the fifth year it is 100 like this you can mention clear am i clear want to take screenshot oh i think you have taken already <laughs> so in the next class we'll see few more problems default case we'll see very important when uh, higher pur purchaser could not pay the installment that's a default case in default case the higher vendor is having right to repossess the asset how will be the treatment that we'll see in the next class stay connected check out the playlist and don't forget to share this video good luck